Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a small compact motorhome that has an amazing paint job and has an awesome living area with a huge U-shaped dinette. This is a 2022 Forest River Forester MBS Model 2401B. We are gonna take a look at some of the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this Forester and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. It is a beautiful day here in Texas and we are looking at one of the most beautiful paint jobs on a Mercedes motorhome, the Forester. But before I begin, let's say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going today? It's going good. I'm loving the weather here. It's nice and warm. Yes. Which is nice for a change. Yes. And I am excited because have we done a Forester on a Mercedes? Um, I actually don't know if we have. So I'm, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's exciting times we're living in. Here we go now. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Let, let's do this thing. Andrea, let's begin. Model is Forest River Forester 2401B. This is the Forester MBS. Okay. Actual tip, tip length is 25 feet, 5 inches. It's powered on the Mercedes chassis. Lane assist, adaptive cruise control. It is the 3.0 liter V6. Very fuel efficient, very fuel economy. Um, this is what people want. They want something small. They want something that's going to be a nice drive. They want something that's going to get good gas mileage and when we say good gas mileage we mean just you know decent right up front here we do have a nice bunk over the cab it's a fiberglass front and bra andrea that means the seams actually wrap over the side it's a lot less likely to leak that way okay coming on down the side here we look at these tires andrea they're the continentals i love those lt215-85 r16 with shiny rims right there Coming on down the side here, we do got mirrors right here, okay? Opening the door, you can see that it does have the running board to get in and out of the motorhome. Now, this motorhome standard is um, no body paint. This one does have the optional full body paint. And Andre, the silver and white is looking nice. Sugar and spice, huh? It sure does. Right here, very unique for the Mercedes, is the... Um, Camera. Yeah, cameras on the sides. You normally don't get those. And we do have a traditional power awning with LED lights. Outdoor speakers as well. Yes, ma'am. Right here, we do have a TV on the outside. Electrical frameless windows. Outlet. Yep. Outlet with frameless windows. Look at that. A little bit of storage. I like that. Very nice storage. And there, this is the water heater. And I love, love... Guys, they spent all this money. Forest River, Thor, everybody who's watching. The customers are spending all this money on full body paint. Paint the damn water heater. Great job, Forrester. It looks nice. Love that. And whatever the heck this is, the furnace. Right, coming on right back here, Andre. Do you know what this is? Something about a motion detector beep, or something. Beep, 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 beep. Sensors. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. And dang nabbing, Andre. Uh oh. No ladder to get up on the roof. You know what? Guys, leave a comment down below. Should we call our friends at U-Step again <laughs> to get them to send us a ladder? Because we got to climb up on these roofs, Andrea. They're we not do. having ladders anymore. Coming around the back, we do got this potable water fill. Potable. Potable. 5,000 pound hitch. You should never really tow 5,000 pounds with the Mercedes. You're good at 4,300, any more than that, no, before you tow. And look at that. A propane quick connect in the rear, in case you do want to have a barbecue on the outside. And there is a backup camera right there. Coming on down the side here. Oh, that's nice. Yes, it is. You know what that is? That's like the water thing. Yep, yep, yep. Very nice. All right, here's black tank flush, city water connection, 30 amp service, TV. Is this going to be storage for your stinky slinky? Yay! It sure is. Outdoor shower. Okay, we got a lot of action. Yeah, we do. Here. A little bit of storage. Wow, that's a lot for this. Come on, Neil. Uh -oh. That's your generator. Um, I, it's a LP3600 uh, propane generator. Okay. I believe you do have the option for a diesel generator on this motorhome. Ooh. Andrea, nooks and crannies galore. Wow. On this motorhome. Ha <laughs> ha. For real? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sheesh. What's this? The Wepe? More storage. Oh, okay. 
Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, and then right there's your propane tanks. And Andrea, we will have all the specs. Here. Bing. Right there, so everybody can see who's watching on television. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Forester looks great, but the inside looks a lot better. Let's go take a look. All right, let's guess the cargo carrying capacity. It's gonna be low. I say 842. 869. Okay. Uh-oh, I guess we're gonna have to get it on the door. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, is it? 1,173. Yeah, that's awesome. They're doing a great job with this. Okay, coming into the Forester, we coming have the slide in. Yes, it is warm in here, isn't it, Matt? Okay, so look, this is great walkway here. Look at this. Nice walkway. You can definitely open the fridge. It is a fold to bed, I see. Mm -hmm. And there is your bathroom. Okay, and this sucker's about to be a lot bigger right in a second. But first, we got to say hey to our friends at RV Life. Guys, if you haven't already gotten them, use our promotion. You're going to thank us later. It's now the camping season. Get yourself RV Life. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life, tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven-day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven-day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Andrea, look at how much bigger this motorhome is now that the slide outs are open. Mm. Let's get started up front in the cockpit area. Oh, these seats swivel, Matt. They sure do. So up front here, sorry America, we got the AC blasting. Um, right here is the AC. This is the Mercedes cockpit area. You have the nice big 10 inch screen right there. It's gonna have the lane assist, the adaptive cruise control, everything. And then here's what's unique. Oh, probably because they have the side camera system as well. Um, the camera system's right there. Nice steering wheel, Andrea. Look, memory seats, power windows. Sit down in the co-captain seat cup holders there and everything listen guys when you're driving a mercedes you're driving one of the most comfortable motorhomes in the industry for sure how do you feel co-captain nice it's very comfortable i like this matt we could we could go cruising in this yes yes this is the type of motorhome guys so like other motorhomes you might be able to put 300 miles a day on it this one you can put five or six hundred miles you know what i'm saying i like the seat swivel yes and their memory seats as well so because the seats swivel little hack is if andrea sits passenger seat the most she sets it to memory one if i sometimes sit in the passenger seat i set it for memory two and then you got to put the seat in a in a unique type of way for um to swivel it around so that's how you should put memory three bunk over the cab the more you know <laughs> <laughs> yes ma'am okay so first do you know what this is um, question of the day hmm, interesting you know what it is? I don't know. A table? Privacy. Oh, is that the privacy thing? Yeah. Okay, so that goes around the front. Exactly. Kind of, yeah. Exactly. Bunk over the cab, small bunk over the cab. It's going to be for one person. It's going to be very small, 440 pounds. Um, I do not like the way it looks. It looks very... Uncomfortable. Like a coffin, to be honest with you. But that's not my problem. This is for the non-paying customers. Right over here, we do got the TV right up there. It does swivel out. And I do like how there's at least two windows in the bunk over and the cab. And it does have a ladder right there. Yes, ma'am. 
Over here, no sofa for the living room, but here's what you do have. An awesome, huge U-shaped dinette. Yes, ma'am. Andrea, look at that. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. And then check out this cabinetry. I have not seen a style like this before. Well, I think that's the more Euro European style. Interesting. But it is interesting. One. And that's weird how there's like, oh, I don't like that at all. And no, no valances. What? Oh no, there's valance over there. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, hang on a second. Here's the valances, Andrea. Approved. Ding! Oh man, good job, Forrester. They're they're actually okay. But here's something that I will say. Look and see what's in there. There's like obstruction or something. Right. I don't know how I feel about that. Right there, there is power and USB in a little place for you to put your cubby. And uh, yeah, Andrea, across. Well, I'm so sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, Andre. Will you forgive me? Yes, you I forgot gotta, that. Yeah. Right here we got like JBL, like super subwoofers, which seems a little extra. <laughs> like I'm trying to go camping. I'm not going to a rave. <laughs> Even though you, hey. you look like you're going to a rave. You could go to a rave in this. Yeah, not me. I'm too old. I'll pull my back out again. <laughs> Oh, but this one does have the um, electric stabilizers. Nice. No, this one's auto leveling, I believe. Very nice. I believe auto leveling is the option. Andrea, show us the kitchen. Okay, I do. You know, this reminds me a lot of how Thor does theirs. Okay, yeah, for but sure. But they have that high gloss. Yeah, but they but got still, the shine, I you know, do, the yeah. shape. But I do like this. Okay, you know, good. I like, it's different. We don't see it a lot. Yeah. So we have some nice storage up here. It's different. Okay. Yeah, it's different. And then we have MCD shades here. Okay. Okay. I do like this solid surface countertop. It's very interesting. Yes. We got a round sink. Mm-hmm. Show that me again. Sorry. Very good size. Okay. We have an extension here. Yes, ma'am. And we have a... Oh, this is flush. This Man, very space. nice. And it seems sturdy, too. It is. That's, you know, just in case you don't have enough counter space. Of course not. And we have a wireless charger. You can never have enough countertop space. Okay, so look what they're doing with the cabinets here, so too. That, yeah, very nice. Look at that. Like a modern look. Yeah. Soft close. Got a bigger one down here. Okay. And over here, we have a Dometic propane two burner cooktop yes ma'am okay i like this look at this check this out this is actually pretty cute what is that this is just like their uh wallpaper i don't know but oh okay it's different you know it's usually all just a solid kind of boring color and sure. they kind of added some color to it some sure. depth. we've got the convection microwave and we've got the magic chef refrigerator Ooh, magic chef magic chef that's a really hang on a second i think this that is, is a really good size i think this runs off a 12 volt yeah yeah hey guys look over here we have the pantry the, oh with like the oh i love I like that. that yes Soft clothes. Mm. and then under here we have more space with yep. shelves very okay. nice and then going into the master bedroom here we have a queen size bed yes oh look matt What's that? These little cubbies back here. Hang on, I don't see nothing. Look. Oh, would you look at that? Hey, every little bit counts. Yes. Cell phones, CPAP machines. You got another little nook right there to put your cell phones. Yes. Uh, two windows right here. You got some lights. Look. Whoa. Nice. Andre, is that enough workshop space for you? For me, yes. Not for you. Maybe for like a long weekend. <laughs> It's very nice. I didn't, I, I'm really surprised actually. Yes. And then over here as well. Nice. And then you've got two big drawers right here. Nice, nice. Very nice. Yes, and then uh, behind Andrea's got head. TV. TV that actually comes with the unit. Very nice. outlet. Yes, okay. ma'am. Overall, just kicking butt and taking names. All right, let's check out this bathroom. All right. We gotta do the Macarena Gotta do here. the Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. It's a small motor home, y'all. Oh, and I, I do think, oh yeah, oh, hold on, Matt. There's an accordion door. So right here, you guys, not a privacy curtain that goes all the way around. Wow. All right, here we go into Welcome. the master bathroom. Okay, we got that step up there. Okay. And good, good size. Decent for the size, exactly. Got the Decent. fan there. All right, over here, we have the medicine cabinet. You yes. can see this? Yes, hang on. Let me step on out. All right. And then we have a corner sink here. Oh, let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, oh, yeah. Interesting that they have yeah. that, I guess. Okay. K 
cabinet oh here okay. and then here nice oh i think you mm, mm. i think you might be happy about that i think you don't know what you're thinking hmm porcelain wow what are you wowing i don't see porcelain toilets that much in these yeah but it's totally do you not see the way my body's curving i do you know what you sit on it. You'll see what I'm saying. Well, I'm just excited that I don't well, see porcelain toilets in these very much. Well, yeah, but when you're save on the carpet, sit on it straight. Capacity. No, no, sit on it straight. I am on it straight. No, stand, stand up. You see how it's supposed to be like that? Yeah. Right. You're a little skinnier than me, but um, it's not a prime pooping position, okay. Andre. My leg was digging into that side. I just says the professional, you guys. I'm, not a prime pooping position. But but look, look how much more space it is. is back I think there. maybe if they just angled it a tiny bit more, for sure, it would be okay. And or moved it back, you right. know, a good three or four inches. Um, it's just very unique and weird how it's in that spot. What say you? Um, I don't agree with you, but you're the professional. <laughs> well, did you like these balances? Yeah. Well, then I don't like the balances. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But Andrea, that's it, short and sweet. We're losing our minds in here. This Texas heat is making us go crazy. So we need to wrap up this video. And before we do, we're gonna tell everybody three things we love about it, three things we don't like about it, and tell everybody the MSRP. So with that said, Andrea, which one do you wanna do first? You wanna do three things we like, three things we don't like. Which uh, one do you wanna do first? Three things we like about it. Mmm, okay, I'm gonna go first. I got two okay. right off the bat. You go. First. Love, 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 love this U-shaped dinette. It's big, it's huge, storage underneath, drops down, makes a good bed. Love this. Okay. That's number one. Number two, I love, love, love this big fridge. This big fridge in a motorhome like this is absolutely amazing and you don't normally get it in a small motorhome like this. That's number two. I am gonna combo mine because I forgot about this. What's that? This skylight here. Love that. I really like this because it gives you a lot of natural light and you can close it if it gets too hot. Yes. But I also wanna combo it with the storage in here. Where? Where? Yes. There? Where? There? Here? Here? And there! <laughs> no. Bam, all that storage, Andrea. That's kind of hard to believe in a motorhome like now, this. Now, if I had to pick a Class B Plus, this would be for me because of the closet. There you go. <laughs> I mean, if you're just trying to transport all your clothes, absolutely. <laughs> right. Well, Andrea, that's three things we like about it. But now, oh no! before you break out your checkbook, <laughs> it's time we give you three things we don't like about it. All right, you go first. Andrea, can I give you all three? Yeah. Okay. First thing. This this how wide the door can be. I literally cannot enter the bathroom like that. Like I would literally have to turn to the side every time I want to enter the bathroom. Not a fan of that. Number one. Number two. Well, not a fan of foldable beds. It's not a foldable bed. I'm well, fine with foldable beds. This bed, when the slide out comes in. It's a puzzle piece bed. You oh, see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not a fan of that. I'm fine with the flip up beds, but with the puzzle piece beds, you know what I'm saying? Right. Oh my goodness. You see what I'm saying, Stan? I see, I see it. I see it. That was number two. And then, Andre, I forgot my number third. If you want to tell us a number three dislike. I don't like this bunk. Okay. I, I thought that was my number third. It's just so, I don't know. It's, yep. Seems smaller than normal, right? Yep. Right here? Yep, it doesn't make much sense. Right. And it's crazy because, you know, with the cargo carrying capacity in this, you actually could have the third person. And right? you could have 500 pounds. It doesn't well, need 440, to be 440, yeah. silly. But um, it's like so many times they'll give you like a really big bunk, but yet like you can't have a third person. Right. Uh, this one actually does have the cargo carrying and it doesn't have that. So it's just kind of crazy. But, Andre, I will give another like to the high cargo carrying capacity. Definitely. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time, time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this motorhome is $147,937. Andrea, that's MSRP. That really isn't that bad for a Mercedes with full body paint. Sale price, as you guys know, we're not allowed to advertise sale price, but I do know 
we can get everybody in America the best price because you know why we're Matt's RV reviews and that's what we can do so if you're interested in this unit all you got to do is go to Matt's RV reviews.com fill out the contact form based off your area we're gonna hook you up with a member of my team that has one of these that can get you a good price good service and the best RV buying experience in the entire RV industry doesn't matter if you live in Maine Florida New York or California Andre is there anything you'd like to say yeah Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Yes. Forest River does read the comments, so we appreciate your feedback. Um, if you guys haven't gotten a chance, we have a YouTube membership. Yes. So if you want to join that, it's a good way to support our channel. Yeah. Also to get cool emojis sure. and cool posts and videos. We just appreciate everybody for watching. Yes. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're safe and well. Thank you absolutely everybody so much. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.